For the last few months, Indian air carriers have been dealing with a threat they have never faced before in peacetime. This new threat, now openly called GPS spoofing, enters quietly into the cockpit and tells the pilots that they are at the wrong place or altitude when in reality, the aircraft is exactly where it should be. No accident has happened so far, but the real question remains, is India truly prepared to defeat this silent air virus before luck runs out? GPS spoofing is all about misleading an aircraft and diverting it from its actual route. Pilots suddenly find their aircraft apparently perfectly healthy navigation screens, telling them they are 200 to 400 kilometers away from where they actually are. Sometimes over the Arabian Sea, sometimes deep inside Pakistan, sometimes just hovering in the middle of nowhere. But how exactly are they doing it? The attackers are using what experts call a carry-off or drag-off spoofing technique, the most dangerous and sophisticated flavor. It doesn't just blast fake signals from the start that would trigger alarms instantly. Instead, the spoofer begins by transmitting counterfeit GPS signals that are perfectly aligned in time, position and Doppler with the real satellites the aircraft is already tracking. Because the fake constellation is transmitted at slightly higher power, still only a few watts, but that's enough when real satellites are 20,000 kilometers away, the receiver very smoothly hands over lock from genuine to fake satellites without any discontinuity that would trigger receiver autonomy integrity monitoring warnings. Once the spoofer owns every satellite the aircraft sees, it very slowly, a few meters per second, begins to drag the computed position away from reality. The inertial reference system on modern jets notices the growing disagreement between GPS and inertial data, but because the IRS knows the plane didn't really accelerate sideways at 3G for 10 minutes straight, so eventually the flight management system drops GPS as primary and the crew gets the alerts. By that time, the displayed position can be hundreds of kilometers off. The hardware behind this is surprisingly compact. Open-source intelligence suggests mobile transmitter vans or small ships in the northern Arabian Sea and along the Punjab-Rajasthan border are behind these events. A typical setup is a Spirant GSS-9000 or GSS-7000 simulator or a cluster of software-defined radios phase-locked together, fed by rubidium clocks mounted in a truck with directional antennas pointed skyward. Multiple such units are synchronized, so the fake constellation looks geometrically consistent from any point inside a 300 to 400 km radius bubble. That's why entire sectors get spoofed at once. Sometimes 10 or 15 wide-body jets report the same false position within seconds of each other. The threat is obvious. If an attacker ever decides to do a sudden jump instead of a slow drag or spoofs only one aircraft during final approach in bad weather, when the crew is fully committed to an RNP or LPV procedure, the plane could be guided straight into terrain before anyone realizes what is happening. Even the slow version is dangerous because it erodes trust in automation and forces pilots to fly raw data ILS in busy terminals when they least expect it. India's immediate defences have been remarkably effective so far. DGCA mandated in November 2023 that every GPS interference event be reported within 12 hours so the authorities have real-time visibility. Airlines have updated flight crew operating manuals with very clear GPS spoofing suspected checklists, revert instantly to conventional NAVADs, treat IRS coasting as primary and inform ATC. Longer term, India is pushing for wider adoption of India's own NAVIC constellation, which is military encrypted and higher power in the region, alternate position navigation timing GNSS, that is APNT ground stations and software upgrades that make receivers look for sudden power, jumps or impossible satellite geometry changes. So far, the spoofer has been content with loud psychological warfare rather than kinetic attack, but the technique is proven, the hardware is in place and the vulnerability is still wide open.